Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be talking about Dawn themes in this video. I'm gonna show you exactly how to set up a store in the least amount of time possible that looks, you know, fairly decent and is responsive. I wanted to come back to this topic because they have significantly improved Dawn in the last few months since September. So since September, there have been all of these updates that you can now see. You can read about this on the Dawn uh, GitHub if you want, but I, I wouldn't really recommend doing that. You can just trust that they're doing some good things. So I would say now is a really, really good time to set up a store. And I'm in talks with some people about making a store and I'm thinking about making a store for myself as well. And we'll see what happens, honestly, and I'm really, really excited. But let's talk about how to make a store. So you wanna to go to shopify.com slash partners and make an account and then log in, or you wanna just go on your um, Shopify store, whatever you're doing. I actually just did this video, but my microphone was muted, so I'm gonna to have to do everything all over again. So you just wanna press add store here and you want to press development store i'm just gonna give it a random name and okay you do not want to click this if you click this then you won't be able to make it a real store in the future i'm going to hide my address and then you just want to build uh you want to just put i'm just playing around or whatever you're doing for your store Sorry Shopify for using up any data or if this costs you anything, this is now the second time I've done this and I have four other development stores. So it's getting a little bit ridiculous at this point. Okay, so I'm gonna download some example products that I just found on Google. Um, it's just, uh, what did I Google? I Googled Shopify product CSV example development and found uh, templatemonster.com. Hopefully you can find it with that information. We'll open this here. Oh, there are even less products on here. That's a joke. Really? Well, that's stupid, isn't it? Okay, so we'll just use the example that we've got. So click on products, click on import, and then you want to find the file from before that we just downloaded and then upload and continue. This will hopefully add, it's only gonna add two products, which is really annoying, but whatever. Okay, so we've got an example product. Let's just click on online store. This is the Shopify dashboard, by the way. We're mainly gonna be focusing on the online store here. You'll see the Dawn 5.00, if I just zoom in a bit, is already installed, which is perfect. If you want to edit code at any time, this is where you edit the code, but we're not going to be doing that in this video. We're just going to be making a very simple example. In my previous video that I already recorded, but it was muted, I already made all of the things that I needed to make. So if I click on your project on Canva, you'll see that there's the <laughs> thumbnail for this video. And then these two here, okay. So one of them is the hero image. So I'm gonna download that. Let's make it smaller. And then I already downloaded the video. So we'll just be using those two images. So this is actually super, super simple, guys. Uh, first of all, yours won't say CCCCC. It will say whatever the name of your store is. I personally, I like to hide this announcement bar and then maybe in the future we can use it to advertise a sale. But for now, I'm just gonna hide it. We're not going to change much at the moment. We're just going to click on uh, here and say, welcome to. I'm just going to welcome there. And then I'm going to click here. And uh, we're going to say to sneaker ahead a place for the, okay. I learned how to spell this the other day. Please be right. This is such a difficult word to spell. I, I already know this is right. It's completely wrong. <laughs> Bloody French. <laughs> Place for the sneaker connoisseur. Okay, perfect. And then here where it says button, click on button and then shop our essential collection. This will take people to 
uh, your whatever collection you choose. I'm just going to put them to all products for now because I'm working with not a lot of content. You want to click on the actual image as well and select and then drag and drop this from before and it should upload it. Make sure that you name the image. So if I click on here, just give the image a name. Don't just put random letters like I am. And then that will help SEO like a very, very small amount, but it will actually help. Okay, so we've put that as our second image. You can put it as your first image, second image, doesn't matter. Don't worry about the header color for now. We're gonna change it. But um, I might actually make a change to this from the previous video. Um, I'm gonna get this kind of gray vibe. I kind of like it here. So we'll grab that color. This is a color picker, in case you're wondering. Uh, we're gonna click here, and we're gonna type in that, and we're gonna click that. I'm gonna make it solid, um, just because it didn't look quite right, and I really like the kind of bleed effect, or like transparent header effect. Um, so we're gonna go with a bit of a changed image. It depends what you like, personally. I just really like it when both the, um, both the hero image and the header have the exact same kind of gradient. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. Let's just keep going for now. Okay, so this is already looking fine. We've completed the first bit. Let's change the header color just to be the same. So you wanna click on theme settings right here and you wanna click on colors and you wanna go down to background one and this should still be copied and pasted, it is. Why is that not working? There we go. Why is that not the same? <laughs> what? That's really strange. This is the first time in my life that this hasn't worked. That's so strange. I think it's probably Shopify is doing something to this image. I think there's like a, yeah, image overlay, there we go. There we go, okay. <laughs> uh, the text is all a bit messed up. So the image needs to be a bit lower. I'm just gonna put it to the side because it's easier and I know for a fact that that's gonna work instead of having to worry about like putting it somewhere else. I think it'll look, it'll look fine on the side. I think it'll look even better to be honest with you. Okay. Oh, on the other side. Well, I'm, I'm just gonna leave it, you get the idea, okay? In fact, I know exactly what I can do to make that better. Hang on. I can put a space. Oh, are you kidding me? Can you not even put spaces? Oh my God. I hate Shopify sometimes, honestly. Oh, that works. There's a bit too much padding. I don't know where this padding's coming from, honestly. But yeah, whatever. What is that? Shopify is kind of weird, guys. Let's go on mobile, just because I want to see it on mobile as well. You always want to be checking on, yeah. That's exactly why you want to be checking it on mobile. Okay, so after some trial and error, that is, uh, I've put it at the top, so that's gonna have to do. I think that looks fine, that looks nice, honestly. I love the bleed effect. I, I'm absolutely obsessed with it, I don't know why. I've always loved the idea that the header and the footer look the same. Just realized I do have to change the uh, text color, so I'm just gonna change that real quick, which is why you can't see the header. So go on colors again, and then look for text, and then you wanna put it on something that's distinguishable, like that, and then we should see our header, perfect. I love it. I think actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab that red, because it's nice to have like really in tune color coding. That should look really nice. I actually don't like it, but whatever. Okay, so I've also changed background to and text to this color from the sneakers. And if we scroll down a little bit, I do kind of like it. So I think I'm gonna leave it as it is. As you can see, most of the stuff is already done here. Wow, just changing that one color really changed everything about the store. I really, really like it. The white at the top and then slowly bleeding down. I really like the effect personally. 
So let's change everything else that we need to change to complete this task. We'll do it on mobile. So we're going to click on talk about your brand. Uh, we are sneaker. I'm going to put it as one word. It doesn't matter. It's a completely fake brand, obviously. Um, heading size medium is fine. Click here. Talk about our brand a little bit. So wait, what? Sneaker heads was built from the ground up. You know that bold. I kinda like it bold. I'm down for that. Okay, so that looks fine. I really really like that. And then we're gonna actually click on featured collection and we're gonna get rid of the heading so there's no heading at all and no description as well. Everything else is fine. If you have more than one product, which I only have one product, so it's not gonna show me, but if you have more than one, then this will be put into a nice um, container for you, basically. So it should look nice uh, with more than one product. With one product, the one product is a little bit big, but yeah. So for now, we'll just hide that because I only have one product in my collection, but if you have more than one, it will look more like something like this, basically. So let's click on the collection and we'll start adding to the collection. Again, I only have one collection, guys, so it's gonna look a bit weird, but this is why I wanted more than one product, but it's fine. This is just an example. So you can put whatever you want here. You could have t-shirts and then hats and then sneakers. It depends what you sell. It's hard to make an example. So I'm just kind of doing it like this. If you only have one product, you could do um, different parts of the product here. Although I personally think it's better to have that lower down. And then we've got the video section here. I would personally recommend adding a video. So let's first of all, just select that as the image. Uh, because I don't have any other images and then we're gonna grab a random YouTube video okay so if you were doing this for real you could make something like this or you know something where the shoe is turning round and round and round or I don't know whatever you really really whatever you want to make but I've just grabbed this random uh, video here which is an ad and I'm gonna use this as an example so where it says URL I'm gonna put the video URL that I just copied and you can see here it's embedded it now I click save, that will be saved now. So that's perfect. Already, I'm really, really liking the look of the store. Okay, so I've resized the example video that I showed you before. This is just, look, this is just a Canva um, template, okay? I just typed in sneaker on templates and it came up with this. I'm gonna download this in, uh, as a PNG. I should do JPEG really, but whatever. And then that should be pretty quick, so it's 500 by 500. Save that, and then we're on the column section here, which is just underneath. If I click on the first column and press select image and upload this, you'll see this is gonna look pretty cool. So you can point to one specific part of your product. Obviously you can make this transparent or however you wanna do it. You don't wanna do it like this, but again, just an example. And then you wanna maybe get rid of the heading and then say these, Sneakers are the most comfortable sneakers in the world of two science. <laughs> Obviously just <laughs> just a random example guys. This kind of thing always makes me laugh, I don't know why. And yeah, you can see that the stores come together really, really nicely and it's really not difficult. This is what I want people to understand. Okay, and if you're on Dawn theme or if you already have a, sh a store and you're not on Dawn theme, you can just do this for your store and everything will be inputted very, very quickly, okay? Um, all of your products will already be uploaded because you're just, you're using the same Shopify backend just with a different front end. And I would honestly recommend it guys because the improvements on Dawn are huge. And you can see that it's, it's basically done, honestly. So let's just exit real quick. Click on preview here. And yeah, you can see that like it looks pretty nice, honestly. It's not like the best store in the freaking world, obviously, but you can see the kind of idea behind it. If I click inspect, you can see that it should look fine also on mobile. 
Um, let's have it on iPhone 12, for example. So obviously you guys won't be able to see this very well, but it looks completely fine on mobile. It looks better on mobile, honestly. And then one more thing that we want to do is we want to open an incognito window here, go on our store, it will be password protected. If you go on your dashboard and press C store password, it's on the main part, that's my store password here. So let's enter into the store, right click, inspect, and then just click on, it's bigger. Click on these two arrows here, click on Lighthouse and press Generate Report. This will generate an SEO report for us, which will tell us the responsiveness and how quick the website is. And as you can see, 90 plus on all four metrics. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope this helps. And if you want more Shopify content, make sure to comment. Peace out.